You're gonna love this because Meta's secret mixed reality plans just got a whole lot messier and way more interesting. And you should know this up front. The updates around Meta's Phoenix project, the internal memo drama, and the next Quest headset aren't small shifts. They're full-on behind-the-scenes plot twists. So if you've ever wondered what's really happening inside Reality Labs, why Meta is slowing some things down and speeding other things up, or where all these AI wearables suddenly came from, this is the video you watch till the end. Because the puzzle pieces finally make sense now. Meta's 2025 Reality Labs shake up the real story behind the resets. So here's the thing. Before you even look at Phoenix or Quest 4, you've got to understand what's actually happening inside Reality Labs right now. Multiple reports make it pretty clear that Meta's trimming its metaverse spending. That giant open wallet phase is basically done. They're not tossing resources into every experiment anymore. They're refocusing. And while that's happening, AI wearables are climbing the priority ladder fast. You can literally see the shift. Headsets used to get all the spotlight. Now you've got smart glasses, AI accessories, and new wearable concepts showing up in report after report. It's like Meta looked at the industry and said, okay, this is where the momentum really is. Then there's the Limitless Acquisition. That's a company building AI wearable tech. So Meta didn't just say they care about wearables. They went out and bought a team already building them. When you add that to the internal resource changes being reported, the pattern is impossible to miss. They're tightening one part of the operation so they can fuel another. So if you've been wondering why the roadmap feels different, this is why. Meta's restructuring the foundation. And Phoenix and Quest 4 are moving inside that new structure instead of floating around as random hardware drops. It's a rebuild that actually has direction. What Phoenix was supposed to be. Now, let's talk about Phoenix. This device is the reason everyone's paying attention, and it wasn't imagined as a small add-on to the lineup. Reports describe Phoenix as a mixed reality glasses project built with real ambition behind it. Think a goggle-style design instead of a light sunglasses frame. So, yeah, definitely not the same lane as the Ray-Ban series. I'd say one of the most interesting confirmed details is the external puck. Several reports mention it. The puck holds the battery and possibly some of the processing. Basically, Meta didn't want to turn the glasses into a heavy block, so they spread the components, which is honestly smart engineering. It keeps the glasses wearable without sacrificing capability. And here's the part that sets Phoenix apart. It wasn't trying to be another Ray-Ban update. Those glasses focus focus on lifestyle features and AI assistance. Phoenix was aiming beyond that, but it also wasn't trying to be a Quest headset either. It sits right in the middle, more powerful than smart glasses, and more practical than a headset. Before any delays came into the picture, that was the original idea. Fill the gap Meta hasn't filled yet, and the idea made perfect sense with the rest of the lineup. They needed something in that space. What Meta privately admitted about Phoenix. Here's where things really pick up. Every confirmed detail about Phoenix slowing down comes straight from internal memos. And these memos weren't soft, they were direct. One memo said the teams needed more breathing room to get the details right. When a company puts that in writing, you know the schedule was pushing them. Another part mentioned tight bring up schedules. That's corporate language for the timeline being packed with no wiggle room. Then, the memo brought up big changes to their core user experience, not surface level stuff, core UX. Anytime a team highlights that, it means they're reworking how the device actually feels to use. And the line everybody talked about said they wouldn't compromise on delivering a polished and reliable experience. That's as clear as it gets. They reviewed the state of the project and decided it needed more time instead of rushing to hit a date. So the slowdown isn't a mystery. The memo lays it out plainly. Heavy development pressure, significant UX work, and a decision to hold off until they can release something that feels right. It's one of those rare moments where a company admits exactly what's happening without anything to decode. The 2027 delay. Now let's talk about the update that flipped everyone's expectations. Phoenix didn't just slide a little, it jumped to a much later spot on the roadmap. The first outlet to report the delay was Business Insider and then Reuters, TechCrunch, The Verge, and Tech Radar backed it up. When that many sources point in the same direction, you don't second guess it. And the tone around the delay wasn't negative. It was framed as a strategic pause. Phoenix needed more time. 
and Meta decided to give it that space instead of trying to squeeze it into the original timeline. This move puts Phoenix deeper into Meta's future plans instead of right up against their current hardware releases. And shifting Phoenix this way has a ripple effect. It clears the schedule for the devices that are already ready to move forward. Meta's lineup gets breathing room. Ray-Ban glasses can keep expanding. Quest can keep evolving. Phoenix becomes the device that waits until the ecosystem around it is stable enough for a new category to fit naturally. So this delay doesn't signal retreat. It signals pacing. Phoenix is still very much part of the roadmap. It's just entering at a moment where Meta feels they can deliver what they actually want to deliver. Meta's current smart glasses lineup and where Phoenix fits in. To understand why Phoenix matters, you've got to look at the glasses Meta already has on the table. Reports highlight the Ray-Ban Meta display glasses. These bring camera, audio, and a built-in display into that classic Ray-Ban style. Then there's the Ray-Ban Meta Gen 2, which stays lightweight and familiar but doesn't include a display. Those two lines hold down the lifestyle and AI assistant side of Meta's glasses strategy. Now enter the Orion prototype. Multiple outlets reference this as a look at more advanced glasses tech Meta has been exploring. It's not for consumers right now, but it tells you a lot about where Meta wants their mixed reality glasses to eventually go. So Phoenix sits right between all of this. It's more capable than the Ray-Ban glasses, but not a full replacement for a Quest headset. It's aiming for that space where you get real mixed reality features without committing to a large headset. And this positioning is exactly why the excitement around Phoenix never really faded. The lineup has a gap. Phoenix was designed to fill that gap. The delay doesn't change where it fits. It just changes when it arrives. Quest 4 Development all right, now let's get into Quest 4. Reports from PC Gamer, The Verge, and Android Central all agree on one thing. Quest 4 is in development. It's the next step in the Quest line and follows the direction Meta's been taking with mixed reality headsets. What's important is the timing. Quest 4 isn't dropping immediately. It's moving through development, but it's not sitting at the front of the release line. That gives Meta room to refine things without rushing a new headset into the market. And here's the bigger takeaway. With Phoenix stepping back on the timeline, Quest remains Meta's main mixed reality workhorse. It keeps the headset category alive and evolving while Phoenix waits for its moment. Ray-Ban glasses handle the lightweight wearables. Quest covers immersive MR. Phoenix is the bridge that comes later, so the confirmed information paints a simple picture. Quest 4 exists, it's being built, it's not arriving right away, and it fits into Meta's new hardware flow in a way that actually keeps the entire ecosystem stable. Meta's new AI wearables wave. While Phoenix and Quest move at their own pace, Meta's putting real energy into a new wave of AI wearables. Reports keep pointing to a device called Malibu 2, which is part of the next generation of AI-focused hardware Meta's been exploring. It's not positioned as a headset or glasses replacement. It's part of a growing category that blends AI features into smaller, more personal devices. And the limitless acquisition takes that shift even further. That company builds AI wearable tech, and Meta bringing them in says a lot about where things are heading. They're not just watching the wearable market evolve, they're trying to shape it directly. Add that to the wristband controller paired with the Ray-Ban display glasses, and you can see Meta stacking pieces for a broader wearable ecosystem. This move toward AI-driven wearables fits right into the bigger strategy. It gives Meta more ways to get mixed reality and AI tools into everyday life without needing people to wear a full headset. So while Phoenix takes its time and Quest continues to develop, the wearable category keeps expanding in the background and honestly growing faster than most people expected. What Meta's XR roadmap actually looks like. So here's the reality check. When you zoom out and look only at confirmed information, Meta's XR roadmap becomes very clear. Phoenix gets delayed. Quest 4 stays in development. AI wearables climb in priority. Metaverse spending gets trimmed, and the overall lineup gets more focused. And you should know Meta isn't pulling back. They're reorganizing the timing of things. Phoenix comes later. Quest evolves steadily. Ray-Ban glasses keep expanding and AI wearables get serious investment. So if you look at the big picture, nothing is slowing down. It's just being reshuffled. Meta wants a cleaner hardware ecosystem before launching a device like Phoenix.
And after going through all the sources, that's exactly what this looks like. When Phoenix finally lands, it'll sit right in the center of a lineup that actually makes sense. And that's it for today. I hope this video gave you a clear look at what's really going on with Meta's mixed reality plans. If you want to check out the Meta glasses that are actually available right now, I dropped everything you need in the description. And if this helped even a little, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss what's coming next. And if you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one next. Thanks for watching.